Welcome to Writers ER, where we assist doctoral and master's students in navigating the intricacies of academic research. Today, we're diving into a fundamental aspect of research methodology, sampling techniques. Ensuring the representativeness and validity of your sample is crucial for the credibility and reliability of your study's results. Let's explore how you can select the most appropriate sampling methods to enhance the integrity of your research. Sampling and research methodology involves selecting a subset of individuals from a larger population to participate in your study. This process is critical because it determines how well your findings can be generalized to the broader population. To begin, you must decide between probability and non-probability sampling methods, each serving different research purposes and constraints. Probability sampling methods, such as random sampling, stratified sampling, or cluster sampling, allow each member of the population an equal chance of being selected. This method is ideal for quantitative research where you seek generalizable results and statistical validity. On the other hand, non-probability sampling methods like convenience sampling, purposive sampling, or snowball sampling are often used in qualitative research for in-depth exploration of more specific or targeted groups. What challenges have you encountered in selecting a sampling method for your research? How did you address these challenges? Let me know in the comments. I'm keen to hear about your experiences. It's also important to consider the size of your sample. A sample too small may not adequately represent the population, leading to biased results, while a sample too large may be unnecessarily costly or time-consuming. Calculating the correct sample size requires understanding of statistical power and the expected effect size which helps in achieving reliable and accurate outcomes without overextending resources. Ensure the validity of your sampling strategy by aligning it with your research objectives and methodology. This alignment enhances the representativeness of your sample, thereby increasing the trustworthiness of your research findings. It's crucial to document your sampling process meticulously, detailing why and how you chose your particular method and sample size. This transparency helps in the peer review process and increases the reproducibility of your study. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Writers ER. Your engagement helps us continue to provide essential resources and guidance for the academic community. In conclusion, choosing the right sampling techniques is vital for the success of your research. By carefully planning and implementing these strategies, you ensure that your study reflects the population accurately thereby enhancing the validity and credibility of your findings. Let's prioritize representativeness and validity to uphold the highest standards of research excellence